guys welcome back to Jay's kitchen so today I'm going to be making cashew chicken it's a favorite uh, of my husband so I've decided to surprise him by making cashew chicken today for lunch so let's see what are the ingredients we need to make this uh, cashew chicken so of course uh, for the cashew chicken we'll be needing a boneless uh, chicken a boneless skinless chicken uh, and then um, we have our cornstarch to thicken our sauce, light soy sauce, sesame oil, sugar, white pepper. And I'm going to be mixing a little bit of uh, chicken stock. And then we have our red uh, capsicum. And then ginger, garlic, and um, your yellow onion. And of course, the main ingredient, which will be cashews. So let me prep the ingredients and then we can start cooking. So I've prepared my ingredients. As you can see here, my chicken has been cubed, washed, and drained. And then I have my cashews, probably about, about two handfuls, one, one and a half handful to two. And then I have my garlic and my ginger minced. Uh, I put in extra garlic. And then uh, I have my yellow onion, and I've taken about a quarter of um, the red capsicum, and I've actually uh, cut it long lengthwise. And um, here I have my um, chicken stock, uh, although my chicken stock hasn't melted yet because I've used cold water. So chicken stock, roughly about half cup of chicken stock. And I'm going to add in some of the uh, sauces to mix in together with this. So right now, uh, before uh, we start cooking, I'm going to marinate uh, the chicken bites uh, pieces uh, with some of the sauces. So as you can see, I have my chicken here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add in some light soya sauce. So we're going to add in to the... So you can add in roughly about uh, two, two tablespoons. And then of course, I'm going to add in my sesame oil. About one one teaspoon okay and then I'm going to add in my cornstarch roughly about one teaspoon or half a tablespoon would be good too so make sure you got it everywhere yeah and now we're going to give it a good mix and what we're going to do is this marinade, we are going to keep it aside for about half an hour. Okay, so it's already goodly mixed. So just leave it for half an hour for the whole marination uh, to get mixed up. So while the chicken is actually marinating for half an hour, we are going to mix and make the pre-mixed uh, sauce. So I'm going to add in, again, the light soya sauce. bit extra for anyways once the chicken goes uh, the stock goes into the pan it's going to melt so and then we're going to add in our sesame oil a little bit and then of course we're going to add in our uh, white pepper Okay, we're going to give it a nice mix. And then we're done for the pre-mix sauce. So I've got my pan heated up with a little bit of oil. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stir fry the cashews a little bit. Maybe for a few minutes till they turn a little bit brown in the hot oil. So maybe you can fry them for a couple minutes. So it has turned uh, slightly golden brown. So after it turns brown, you can actually remove it uh, from the pan. Make sure that you got everything out. So at this point, I'm going to add in a little bit more oil. Okay. And I'm going to add in half of my ginger. 
and half of my sorry half of my garlic and half of my ginger I'm going to be stir frying this a little bit so after frying it a little bit I'm going to be adding in about one third of my chicken I'm going to cook this for about 5 to 6 minutes so the chicken is fully cooked. So the chicken is cooked right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the chicken. And transfer to a plate. So I'll make sure I got all the ginger and garlic. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the rest of the chicken into this pan. So I have my balanced chicken here, my and they're going to do the same procedure and they're going to cook it for another 5 to 6 minutes until the chicken cooks. Okay. So as my chicken is cooked, I'm going to transfer them into a bowl. And now we can start adding everything together. So I've added in more oil, as you can see, and at this point, I'm going to add in our balanced ginger and garlic, minced. I'm going to give it a nice quick mix. So we're going to be using the same pan. We're going to mix it till it turns slightly golden brown and then after this we're going to add in the veggies the yellow onion first and we're going to fry this till it turns translucent maybe for a couple minutes we're going to be stirring this and then we're going to add in our capsicum. Give it a mix for another five to six minutes. So another five to six minutes. So after a couple minutes of stir frying, so I'm going to be adding my sugar a little bit here. You can always choose to add it with the mix together, but I kind of prefer to add it together with the dish. So a little bit of sugar here. Very good. I'm going to give it a quick mix. And now we're going to add in our meat. So let's add in our meat. And then give it a quick mix. And then we're going to add in our pre-mixed sauce. So our pre-mixed sauce is here. Just give it a quick mix and add it in. So I'm going to allow my chicken to cook a little bit. And allow the um, uh, sauce mixture to uh, evaporate. Okay, so we're going to leave it like this to cook for about a couple minutes. So at this point I'm going to add in a little bit of uh, dark soy sauce because uh, my light soy sauce is 
too light so we're just gonna add in like a half teaspoon to one teaspoon because the soy sauce that I always use is pretty light so right now I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more till the um, the premix uh, liquid evaporates so I'm gonna leave a little bit of the gravy because uh, I'm going to um, uh, I like to have my cashew chicken a little bit with gravy so I'm gonna leave it here like this and I'm going to add in the cashews you can always add, add in more cashews if you want but I'm not really a big fan of cashews so I'm gonna add in sort of like a handful of cashews so we're gonna give it a mix and we're done so don't forget if you have the type of soy sauce that's really light you can always uh, add in a little bit of dark soy sauce that's fine too no problem just what one teaspoon or uh, a little bit extra so just to get that color of cashew chicken in, into your chicken and all that so the ones that I have are literally really light in color so that's the reason so our cashew chicken is done so this is my end result of my cashew chicken so like I always say you can always add in uh, accordingly uh, the ingredients and uh, to how much that you like to add in whichever you prefer so for me i've always liked to go very light not too much not too less so this is it my cashew chicken thank you so much for joining me today in watching my video uh, how i made cashew chicken so if you like my video don't forget to give me a thumbs up please like my video please share it on your social media and also among your friends and don't forget to like my youtube channel please remember it's a new youtube channel name hummingbird mama so don't forget to subscribe by pressing the subscribe button that's below this video and don't forget the notification bell so you'll always receive an email from my youtube channel hummingbird mama so till i see you in my next video take care and have a good day